So there's something that I want to address. Um, it's something we've all believed in for a very long time. Um, I, be I believed in it myself at a point in time. That it's actually in Genesis um, 6. Genesis 6, 3 says, And the Lord said, My spirit shall not always strive with man, for that he also is flesh, yet his days shall be 120 years old. So a lot of us have automatically programmed ourselves to benchmark man's age to be 120. But even in the book of Psalms, the book of Psalms makes it worse, right? So we all know and believe that a man shall live to 120 years old. Therefore, if the man gets to 120 years old, that is scripture. But sadly, we're living in a time where men don't even live up to 120. So we want to know if this statement in the scripture is spiritual or is programming, is, is, is man-made, is the thinking of men. Because for the man also is flesh, right? That's, that's what it says. It says, for that he also is flesh. So he also has flesh. So it, it automatically makes you think that, okay, it's only in this realm that we have flesh. First of all, that is not true. Everything that has a body has a flesh. Yes, so so this, the moon has a flesh. That's the body. The sun has a flesh. Everything that has a body has a flesh. So the subject that man, has, man also has flesh now, technically is not so because the, the vegetable has flesh. You understand that the coconut has flesh, the yam, the cassava, the body. When you talk about flesh, we talk about body. Okay, so it is made for man to think that man is only living to 120. So Moses died at 120. Okay, let's go to um, Psalms, Book of Psalms 90, verses 9. The Book of Psalms 90, verses 9 says, The days of our lives are 70 years old. And if by reason of strength they are 80 years, yet they are both... Anyway, if by reason of strength, so a man's life shall be 70, but if by reason of strength, it means that if the man lives a particular life or a certain life, automatically the man can come to 80. Even the Bible is saying it. The man can come to 80 by reason of flesh, but a man is supposed to die at 70. Right, it gives you room to think. Wait a minute, I can technically live beyond 70. So, the man's life is not 70. My, my portion is not even about what the Bible says or what have you. Within the space of five years, you can actually order a new physical body within the space of five years, you can have new organs within the space of five years. So, technically, you can. Age, whatever it is they think man is supposed to be. The reason why man is dying at 70 is not because of sin. Sin is not the reason why man is dying at 70. What you put in your body is the reason why man is dying at 70. The abominations you do for your physical body itself. So it's not because you are born in sin, conceived in sin, died in sin, did sin, Satan, whatever. That is the reason why you're dying at 70. This is why I'm telling you that if you perform certain particular, particular practices, automatically you can buy 20 years free to whatever age you intend on living on the face of the earth. I'm not going to go far. We used to think that our fathers lived long. Huh? Our ancestors lived long, right? Why are we dying young? It is not because the Bible said so. We're dying young because of lifestyle choices. That's why we're dying. I remember when we started classes, when I started teaching, and I used to tell the community that each and every single one of us is going to live at 120. When I said that at that time, it didn't make sense. Because the programming and the accumulation was that by 70, you should be dying. So what do you mean we're going to live at 120? I said, everybody in Oyama Kessu is going to live that long. The reason why we're going to grow that long it's not because somebody is standing somewhere working against us and ensuring that we die at an early age. No, it's choices. So no matter what your condition is today, no matter what your life is today, no matter what you're dealing with today, within five years, 
There are certain practices that if you start now, within five years, you buy 50 years or sorry, 20 years straight. This is proven and tested. I've, I have high profile names that I've done this for and they are all testifying. Okay. You don't have to pay anything for this. You, you don't have to pay me anything. Of course, there are technicalities where spiritually somebody can do a thing against somebody's physical body and end the lifespan of somebody's physical body. But don't know, crap, nobody can kill you. But anybody at all can kill your physical body once they know the right applications for your physical body. So, except the cases of protecting yourself, except the cases of recklessness, where you don't take care of yourself on the road, you don't, you don't drive with caution, where you drink and drive, you test and drive and all this craziness, right? Such recordness, recordness, except you go and drown yourself. You drink and go to the beach, you go and drown pool, whatever it is, right? Except you start practicing certain things that would kill you or you don't protect yourself spiritually to ensure that you're grounded, right? If you take these factors out, no sin is killing you. Nothing is killing you except your own life's choices. Man age is not 120 man's age is not 70 man's age is whatever you decide your age is going to be what is important is that you even finish your assignment here on earth so you can finish your assignment within 20 years and say i'm done with this place i'm gone and you die at 20 there's nothing wrong with it or you can finish your assignment at 150 and say i'm gone but don't let anybody limit that scope to think that okay i'm my man is only supposed to live up to 80 so he's normal so now when somebody lives up to 70, we are clapping, hey, he's done well, he's achieved. No. If life is beginning at 40, why are you dying at 70? It means you lived only 30 years. No. You have a long way to go. That's why a lot of people put pressure on themselves. You see, I'm growing old. I'm, gro I'm so old. I can't do I'm so No, you're not old. Whatever you want to achieve, you can achieve it. You can start at 70 years old, buy a new physical body, because your body cells, it's science. Your body cells are constantly changing, right? So your old body cells is dying out for a new body cells to come in. The reason why yours is not becoming new is because you're not giving it flesh. You're not giving it life. You're eating all this junk and deadness into your system. So instead of your body rejuvenating new cells, it's re still rejuvenating dead cells. You know what I'm saying? But your physical body has got the responsibility to rejuvenate new cells. How do we rejuvenate new cells? By putting new cells into your body. That's why sometimes your physical body can even dry off and it peels off. Just like a snake shed the skin, human beings also shed our skin. That's why your hair keeps falling off, new hair keeps growing. Right? You can grow anything. You can grow your eyes, your ears, your organs, your heart. It's up to you to make those choices to decide, you know what? I never knew that life doesn't end at 70 or 120. Now I can go as long as I want to. Live well, live life, buy a new physical body for yourself, and enjoy what life has in store for you. Don't want to waste my time. I'll see you June 29th. It's going to be explosive. We just finished a mammoth ritual. June 29th, we're going to feed so many different meals to the water energies. We cook from brown rice water, porridge, all the waters. Pamper them, give them honey, give them everything. If you've never done a water ritual, if you've never com connected to the snake energy, you have dreams, you see snake, you have dreams, you see crocodiles, you have dreams, you are seeing yourself in water by water, what, what have you, make sure you show up June 29th. And the 30th, uh, you have to say spiritual eyes, but these are all rituals you have to do. You'll be free. I have a spiritual eyes, but they say I can never marry. It's not true. Show up June 29th, June 30th, June 29th, Show up, we do the main ritual, the girls gather, bless. June 30th, early morning, we come to the water, come and pamper them. And we'll see what will happen to us. Have a great time, I love you guys. Mm -hmm.